Tonight's episode is brought to you by the Chemical Wonder Cocktail loaded by antinatalists the world over. Sodium sulfate, potassium sulfate, and magnesium sulfate. Just one sip and you wish your parents had had more restraint and forethought. Sounds that. It's like a... <sighs> Evening, folks. So tonight I was uh, planning on spending some time talking about Zippy the Pinhead and that one issue of G.I. Joe that led to my sexual awakening. But no, 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 not not today. Today's been a day of uncontrollable liquid discharge and tubes crammed into orifices that were not really meant to be crammed. Uh, so, yeah, we're playing Yoshi's Woolly World. Have I welcomed you to Mekotaka yet? Welcome to Mekotaka. Let's just play Yoshi's Willow World. Uh, let me make sure this is recording properly. I have it full screen. Ah, full screen worked. Very good. All right. It's been a couple days. It's been more than a couple days. It's been quite a few days. Yeah, this is my boy's accounts. Ah, I'd like to point out uh, Reese evidently did watch the first stream of Yoshi's Woolly World, and as predicted, the very first thing out of his mouth was, why did you skip the one smiley and stage whatever, whatever, whatever? Because of course, of course he's going to criticize how I play. All right. Anyway, let's go. It's been, it's been a long weekend. Yeah, I'm drinking my frozen coke. What are you gonna do about it? I can drink it now. I can, I can eat now. I haven't been Sunday. Sunday um, was a day without food. Um, oh, man, guys, let me get comfortable here. Look at that guy. He's just. I, can't, I don't want to bother him. He's just sunning. I'll take these guys. Um, so as, as discussed, I believe, as discussed, uh, yeah, I had some, uh, some tests coming up, a, uh, endoscopy and a colonoscopy. I think, I think I got all those right. Whoa. There, get out of here. Um... And, you know, neither are particularly fun. Uh, so the actual procedure was went fine because I wasn't awake for it. Um, yes, I, they, they were very keen on using anesthetic, which I was very keen on using. Anesthesia, not anesthetic. Um, and b better still, uh, it was the the stuff that's pumped directly into you via IV, which has its drawbacks for me because I don't do well with needles, uh, which I'll, I'll get into momentarily. Uh, but it's it's pretty instantaneous and. That's neat. Bonk, 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 bonk. It's instantaneous, and uh, it, you don't wake up feeling nauseated, and that that is huge for me. Because um, as with needles, I don't deal with no, I don't deal with feeling sick. I, that is one of the last feelings I, I want. I, I hate. I just absolutely hate feeling nauseated. I really do. Not that anybody like, you know, likes it per se. 
But I mean, it really bothers me. Uh, to the point where I just want to, you know, curl up into a ball and just want the world to go away type thing. So, so that, that was a plus. Now, needles. Obviously, obviously they had to set up an IV. Um, I don't like needles. Um, and I think I've discussed this before. Um, having blood drawn is just, uh, hang on. Defy enemies and gravity, Yoshi blinding speed. Oh, and jump. Okay. Um, whoa. This is fast. Ah, this is messing with my head. Whoa. Sonic action going on here. Uh, I do... Oh, shoot. Let's turn around. Man, I, I, could, I could play a whole game of this. Great, actually. That was awesome. I, I, I want to do that again. Anyway, where was I? Needles. Needles suck. Uh, having blood drawn. Uh, I, I don't deal with that very well at all. And I, I have discussed that. I don't, I don't need to go into detail. <laughs> it sucks. How's that? How's that for detail? I get lightheaded, um, I begin to pass out, you know, all sorts of fun things. Um, so no needles for, no needles for me. Now, that's getting blood drawn. Um, having, I want to go up here. Being stuck with the needle, that that sucks, but it doesn't bother me as much, surprisingly. Um, I don't have like this sudden drop in blood pressure, because, you know, a vampire is draining blood from me. Um, I'm not cool with it, per se, but I mean I can I can deal with that a little bit better. Um, now you know, my anxiety was already pretty sky high, though, because just being in a hospital environment, um, having a procedure done that I haven't really had done before, um, it's all the, all the fun reasons one would have. But, I mean, the nurses and the doctor were all very cool. Um, got through it. Hooray. Um, and, I mean, honestly, um, you know, Rachel had been preparing me for, for all of this. Um, you know, what to expect. Um, you know, and just, just showing all sorts of wonderful support, and I just, I cannot thank her enough for that. Uh, that's not just me, like, you know, sucking up for brownie points. Um, I, I mean, I absolutely mean, I could not have done this without Rachel. Um, I would have been an absolute mess. Plus, she was my designated driver. Because <laughs> I was not driving after, after the procedure. I was barely able to walk after the procedure. Um, the... Hang on. I need a shy guy. The worst part, by far, was the, the prep. Um... And again, that I, I had known that. Um, uh, 
again, thanks to thanks to Rachel's warning. Okay. There's a cat that wants to be let in, by the way. Not that that's related to anything, but I can hear him, and I'm just like, nah. Ooh, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. I don't know how I'm going to get that. I don't care. I'm done. I'm done with the stage. So, I had the procedure done on, on a Monday. So, Sunday. Uh, so, Friday and Saturday, I had to change up my diet a little bit. It honestly didn't change that much. Um, Sunday, however, was no food. Um, and liquids were very limited. Um, and that was... That was that was kind of tough. That was tough. It got worse at 6. By 6 p.m., I had to start drinking a cocktail of hell. Oh. It's just these god-awful chemicals that just should never be drunk by anybody. Um, oh, God, the taste. The taste was terrible. And, I mean, it's a lot, too. It's, um... Is that, like, 32 ounces or something? It's it's something absurd. Uh, you're supposed to mix it with water, but it's mostly, you know, hell. Um, liquid hell. And then within a, within a half hour of finishing this, roughly, um, your body decides to expel it because it knows that this should not be your body because it absolutely it sucks. Um, which obviously is what they want it to do. Um, some terrible person out there discovered this and thought it would be hilarious. It took me... I mean, it took me about an hour to finish drinking to drink it, and I mean, it, it was a saying it was a struggle, but it's putting it lightly, quite honestly. It was awful. Um, there's no way it's sugar-coated. And yes, maybe I am a wimp, but... Do. Drinking motor oil. Um, and that, so that, that left me pretty incapacitated for a good portion of the evening. Um, and then... Uh, I get to do it again at four in the morning. So yay! Um, and again, that that took me another another hour to get through. Oh man! Um. I played. <laughs> I read a lot of. I read a lot of books. I played some magic. I mean, that—that's an experience. That, that really is playing magic at Magic Arena, of course. Why? Well, it was just something to do. I, yes, I'm—I'm I'm done with Arena for a while now. I think. I don't—I don't see myself playing in the uh, with the March the Machines environment. But anyway, uh, yeah, playing Magic at 4 in the morning, you know, drinking Swill from I don't know. I want to say the devil's anus. Um, but that's been taken. Copyrighted. Uh, it, it just, oof. Yeah.
not not how I envisioned spending you know an, an evening. You know, in retrospect, I can laugh about it. Because, ha ha! Remember that time I did that horrible thing? Um, man. At the time, though, I never wanted to be done with something so bad. It was rough. It was rough. So it's been a day. Um, I'm still... I'm still recovering. Um, you know, I'm allowed to eat again, so I ate. Uh, but of course, not having eaten in a while. Um, certainly did a little bit of a number on my system. Um, uh, yeah. It's been a fun day. <sighs> but again, again, I cannot stress enough how how much Rachel has helped get me through this. Plus, plus on top of that, she was taking she took care of the kids today and Sunday. Um, which you know. It, is a challenge in itself, uh, especially because Reese uh, has a strep throat amongst um, a couple of other fun viruses. Because you know, the universe is funny like that. No such thing as getting a break. <laughs> Come on. It's close. He's doing better. Um, I mean, it's not, not perfect by any means. But he's slowly... Slowly recovering. Um, enough that he, he can go to school tomorrow. Wearing a mask. Because um, uh, finally, you know, we might be seeing America finally get into masking when you are sick. Instead of, you know, being called into work and, may, and being made feel guilty when when you call into work because you feel terrible and you don't want to get the rest of the workforce sick. Oh. There we go. I was always really bad at that. Whoa, this is crazy. Um... I always, man, I always felt guilty about calling in into work, um, and it's just the you know, part of it's just the way I was raised. I think, and just the society, society in general. I mean, if you had a bad cold, whatever, it's just a cold. You can still go into work. Um, And yeah, in retrospect, I'm like, man, there were so many days I should just never have gone into work. <laughs> Need to take better care of oneself. <laughs> oh, bashful Bert. <sighs> so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. But not like go to sleep tired. More like those tick. Those two of them now. There's three of them now. Look cow. Yeah, 
There we go. Oh my gosh. This is... Oh my gosh. This is pretty interesting. side of him. I can't get over him because he's just... Ah, dang it. Perspective is blowing my mind. Come on, Bert. Go that way, go that way. Got him. Take his pants off. Hey, that was me earlier. The hospital gowns. There we go. Yay, we beat World One. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just like emotionally drained. <laughs> so I don't, know, I don't know how long this episode's gonna be. I mean, we just started. We got a new power badge. All right. <laughs> Bert the Yoshi. So, good feel. The uh, the developer of this game. I had to look them up because I was just like, I never heard of this group. Um, it may come as a shock. Hang on, where the heck am I supposed to go? Um, this way? Yep. It may come as a shock, but they're also the developer um, responsible for uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Which I just I just assumed it was Hal because I mean it's a Kirby property. Um, Hal oversaw the production, but I mean I don't know what that means. It sounds like they just oversaw character design. Um, Goodfeel originally made the game to be something else, um, starring the, the the prince, little yarn prince, and then somehow that got transformed into Kirby. Other than that, I mean, they did a they did a Wario game, but the vast majority of their catalog are like these educational titles, um, the Japanese educational titles. So, in a way, it, it's pretty impressive. I mean, the game... Uh, the game's fine. They're great, even, I'd say. Um, I mean, this is... This is wild. It is really weird that... Um, Nintendo hasn't republished this. few remaining Switch exclu- or sorry, or Wii U exclusives that they haven't touched. I don't know why I did that. That's what I meant to do. Now, one of my major qualms with the game, and again, I mean, maybe not such so much of a qualm, but a 
quibbling. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the muted palette of the game. But I still like the look of the game, though. And that, that, that really is only in comparison uh, to Yoshi's, Yoshi's Island. Which really isn't that fair. Because, I mean, the game does look really good. I, I mean... I really... <sighs> right now, at this point, I, I don't feel... Like I have much to criticize about the game. Um, it does look nice. It plays nicely. Um, it is very creative. And it is just kind of a joy to play. Which, you know, is something video games should be. Get out of here. Can't kill those guys. There we go. Oh, how do we get that? I'm assuming I can knock these guys into one another. Yep. That's good. that. Hmm. Oh, good shot there, Yoshi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Twice. There's a cat at the back door, and I'm ignoring them. Because they've already been out, like, twice this evening. Anyway, there we go. Ah, that's what I wanted. Let's go to this one. What a day. I'm recording right. That would suck if I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just want a game that you can just play. And I know that's always kind of been my my thing. Um, when I when I come to playing a lot of games, um, oh, I see. I need to have that flat. I was wondering why that was important. This reminds me of Metal Gear. Not Metal Gear, oh my gosh. No, it doesn't remind me of Metal Gear. Metal Slug, actually. The, um... What, what Metal Slug was it? Was it one? It had this, like, windy bridge thing going on. Very cool effect. This does not remind me of Metal Gear in any way whatsoever. It's been, a, it's been a long day. I think I'll Like I said, I should be resting, but I'm really just not tired. Like, sleep tired. Whee! Oh, 
Oh, really? I know I don't have to do it this way. But I want to. Alright, I'm back. Got it. I want to hit that again just because. That doesn't seem to trigger anything else. I'm like, ah, I'm awake. I'm not awake. I'm not even here. I'm everywhere and nowhere. <laughs> I'm Zippy the Pinhead. I said I wasn't, but she won't shut up. <laughs> and don't give me that look. She's a pain in the butt right now. Be right back. I, I could cut all this out. I'm not going to. from now, she's going to want out. <sighs> you know what else? I don't care. I'm, I'm eating it. I'm eating a Kit Kat. That I just totally shattered. Oh my god. today. Uh, no, 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 let's let a bunch of strangers cram a camera up my butt. How about you? I went shopping. <laughs> no, you're going to sit here and you're going to watch me eat the Kit Kat. what's left of it. Alright. The stage is entirely too yellow. There. There's my criticism for the night. Stage, too yellow. Duplicitous... <laughs> Duplicitous still. Oh, you are sneaky. Why can't I get those?
Ah. Gotcha. It's Fez. There's a game I've never played and never will. Um, I've heard it's fine. Um, I know. I mean, I've heard it's good. Like, like you know, genuinely a, a good game. Um, <clears throat> I'm not a fan of uh, its creator. Um, and yeah, I mean, I obviously I can separate the art from the artist. It's a lot harder when, like, they're the sole developer. Um, I don't. Even, I don't even remember the dude's name. But he's just. He's just of. That um, that indie click, you know, when indie was a thing, um, just so self-absorbed and dramatic, melodramatic. Absolutely full of themselves. I can't remember what, what was his name because there was also the guy that made Braid. Um, man, that guy was. A... <laughs> they were all terrible. I don't care. They were all just abysmal and terrible people. Jonathan. Jonathan Blow? Was that his name? I think that was his name. Yeah. Been careful. But, you know, the, that indie scene was really weird, wasn't it? Um... And I, I say that because it's like... Um, you know, you had these individually published games come out, right? Uh, or indiv individually developed games come out, uh, kind of all at once. And this was this was during the dawn of like the YouTube era, so you had these developers recording, you know, their their trials and tribulations of game development and how difficult it was and how amazing they are. And how much drama there was, and it it really it really there we go. Evidently, I wasn't pushing the button. It was really annoying. Is what it was. Very reality TV, which of course was also the thing. Yeah, so what always really bugged me about it though was that like the media, the games media made it seem like this was new and exciting. And it's just like you know, have you guys never heard of like shareware? Um like, like indie independent Developers aren't anything new. I mean, jeez. I mean, ID Software it seems familiar, right? Uh, but I mean, <laughs> independent developers have been a thing for decades, and they made, they were making it seem like this was brand new, and that just, ooh. I remember that bothered me so much. It shouldn't have, because it's dumb, but it did. It did. I 
and my thinking was like, these guys... These guys aren't revolutionary, they're just some guys making games in a studio apartment. And recording themselves doing it. And showing their suffering for their art. I'm not saying game development's easy, nor am I saying artists don't suffer. Artists are a sensitive lot. Not all. Not all. But many. Myself included. Spool, I think. Oh no, wait, it was the other one. Because it's turned around. Of course. What was that guy's name? Was it Phil something? I don't know. Sorry, I'm still thinking about Fez. Talk about sensitive artists. Man, that guy. Threw a little tantrum. Took away his Fez 2 from the universe so nobody could play. Which, I mean, if you're a fan of Fez, that, that does kind of suck, but if you don't give two craps, hey, you're fine. But it's, it's fine because he, he lets you know that he didn't care about you either. So, even though you hurt his feelings, um, know that. He wanted her yours as well. Oh my gosh, these guys are so obnoxious. <laughs> Get out of here. Thank you. Oof. All right. What's that guy's name? I'm pretty sure I talked about it before on Mecha Taco somewhere. Collecting new stamps. Oh, that's right. The Wii U had that whole stamp system. I forgot about that. You could, like, post in the Miiverse or whatever. I don't know. I never really did it. Antisocial. Cute idea, though. I, I do like the idea. Again, but I say again, I haven't talked about it tonight at all. The Wii U turned out to be a surprisingly neat little system. I mean, I was pretty against, I don't say against it, but I wasn't that excited about it um, when I first saw it. Uh, I think I'm, I think I have valid, validated for that. But by the time I got one, you know, Super Mario 3 Super Mario 3D World was out, and that was that was a cool game. Oh, buddy, this way. I didn't actually know I could do that. Oh, need he's green now. 
And yeah, Super Mario 3D World is a very cool game. Obviously, you know, they they did uh, oops. Come on this way. Can we jump? Oh, we can. This way, this way. They released it on Switch. Um, you know, with Bowser's Fury or whatever. Which I still... I. But we have. We have the game. I still have not played Bowser's Fury. Um, you know, I know it's more of a Mario Odyssey style bonus game. But still. I really liked Mario, Mario 3D World. Like, I mean... It, it's definitely one of my favorite Mario games ever. Um, it is a very, very well-designed game. Four-player, too. Um, it just is. It's just a, it's just a cool game. Yeah, go back this way. All right, take the earth, get this thing out of here. All right, how do we get up there? No, wait, 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 don't, 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 don't. There we go. And of course, you had like, uh, you know, Bayonetta 2, which is the re which that was the reason I got this system was for Bayonetta 2. Mario 3D World, I was like, oh, that could be fun. Um, and while I really did like Bayonetta 2, I mean, Mario 3D World has way more hours. It's been a long time with that game. So much leather in this at this stage of it bothers me. I have nothing against leather, but just I can smell I can smell this stage. Rawhide. Yeehaw. actually climb up there. Okay. Or jump up there. However, I bet you he can do this though. Just don't come this way. Up. Okay, up again. What's over here? Puzzle time. Dang it, I had it. 
Okay, do it again. I jumped on him. Why did I jump on him? Let me do it again, please, please, please. Yes, good. You were gonna let me do it. Can't believe I jumped on him. All right, let's go this way. There we go. All right. There we go. Now we're in business. Oh, good. It's almost time to stop. Not that I'm not enjoying this game, because, I, like I said, I am. This is fun. But it has been a long day. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to edit this this episode. I had all these ideas. I'm, I'm not doing it tonight. I play that. That's not happening. I don't have the attention span tonight. I, I mean, I, if you don't have the attention span for Yoshi, you don't have the attention span for for anything. I gotta set the course and see how this. Do I have to set the other side? Oh, okay, the other side is gonna have its own. Alright. Let's go. He's going to go there. <laughs> Next. There, enjoy your spikes. Spikes are instant death. Okay. Good to know. I was about to say the music reminds me of Trigun. Uh, the 90s Trigun. They did, um, well, obviously I'm sure you, you are aware of it. Uh, they have released a, uh, a remake. A CG remake of Brygon. And hey, it looks cool. I've been meaning to check it out. It does look good. Why didn't you do that? That is that is one series I do want to check out. I was looking through um, anime releases trying to find a new series uh, with no luck. Wait. Oh, because, oh, because it reset. Really? That's lame. Ah, oh, fine. 
um, most of it is, you know, the SK or SK or whatever garbage. Which I say garbage, but it's like, you know, I wrote an SK novel. <laughs> but at the time it wasn't popular, so meh. Um, plus, mine's different. Mine's not wish fulfillment. Like in the slightest. You should buy my novel. You don't have to read it, just, just buy it. It's cool. If you buy my novel, I will... I'll, uh, drink some more of the colonoscopy swill. Wow, that sounded awful. Um, no, I won't do that, by the way. That, that is never happening, ever again. Holy cow. It's great. <laughs> but you should buy my novel. It's called Everday. E V E R space D A Y. You can find it on Amazon. First printing still out there, complete with typos and everything. So, you know, collector's item. I'm actually going through, I just ordered a bunch of, um, a bunch of author copies that I'm going to go through and um, do some editing and get uh, second printing out there and sent to publishers. That'll be fun. I enjoy rejection. I don't know about you. All right, guys. We're done for tonight. It is... Yep. Yep, we're done. All right. This is good. We made we made excellent progress. Don't you think so, Yoshi? I think so. We did. We, we made really good progress. And again, I'm having, I'm, you know, still having a lot of fun with it. It's very, very chill. This is a very low energy gaming experience, which I need that. I need that. I need, I need that today of all days. Good feel is what I need. Thanks for joining us. Good night, folks.